Welcome, Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you guys a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead for the collective. Taurus, Sun, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. I see you. You definitely could be thinking about a Gemini or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, oh, it's cute. I like it. Okay. We have earth energy as well. Okay. Let's see what's going on for your person. You're like destined to be together. That's beautiful. Okay. What's happening here? What's going on? Ooh. Okay. Mm. Okay, oh, too many cards. Okay, there we go. Wow. Okay, under the deck here we do have the King of Swords. With the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords. Who is spying? Okay, is it you? Is it them? Is it mutual? Is somebody caught spying? I do have the Tower. That's Scorpio energy. Signs that are prominent. Okay, let me go ahead and go over that. We have a little bit of everything here. We've got earth, air, fire, water. We've got a little bit of everything. But the most, the signs coming at me the hardest are definitely Gemini, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, we do have like the strong like, Aquarius type energy. I mean, it could be any sign, but everything's here. There's, it, honestly, there could be a lot of people involved in this situation. Now, we do have the King of Swords. Now, King of Swords is a man who's very strong, very intellectual. Um, so this could be who you're dealing with. This could be you. Again, I don't read gender specific, so take it how it resonates. It feels like this person's trying to come up with a plan, you know. It could be some kind of secrets here and some, like, spying. Spying that maybe um, gets unexpectedly discovered. Have you been spying on them or they've been spying on you? Caught, caught red-handed is what I heard. What? <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, I gotta I got know more about this. All right, you both see this situation as like destiny, like you're meant to be together. Now, I'm, I am gonna be really honest with you guys though. Um, for some of you, this could be third or even fourth party. I mean, you might be with someone, they might be with someone because the lovers can't indicate choices being made in love. So again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, I always recommend you guys also check your other placements, spe specifically your moon rising and Venus signs. Um, like for instance, I am a Virgo sun, however, so sometimes it's, sometimes Virgo resonates for me, but I am a Taurus moon, you know, which is like our emotional self, like who we really are, you know, underneath it all. And then I have a Leo stellium. So more often than not, Leo or Taurus resonate for me more often. Okay. Why do you see this as the lovers? Why do you see this connection as the lovers? Why do you... See like you're de you you're destined to be together. You're in love with this person, um, and I think it's mutual. You know, we see that it's like you're like you're forbidden fruit. You know, like Garden of Eden or something. You know, it's like waiting. Like you feel this is destiny, and they also feel that way as well. Uh, with the King of Cups, how you feel about this person? Well, you love them, and you're very you're very protective over this person. Like this person, like you listen to each other, you understand each other, you support each other. What do you feel? Some of you might have a child with them. Or, and please try to, uh, again, this is going to sound strange. Sometimes when they show me things, it's not like, it's kind of hard to interpret into words. Like it's a feeling. It's not really like a sentence or something I can convey as far as like an image. Um, it's almost like, there's this sense of vulnerability that this person shows to you that they don't show to anybody else. And you're so fiercely protective of them. And vice versa. There's like this innocence to your connection and to your love. Like I said, some of you may have a child with them. Maybe you're destined to have a child with this person for some of you. Um, intentions, we see the Knight of, of Coins. So this is like for the long haul. You know, you're in it to win it. You're not, you know, you're, you know, you might be feeling impatient, but... This is like, I want to see it through. What are your intentions? What do you feel like needs to happen? Okay, now we do have the clover and the ship. So this could be about travel, okay, for some of you. Um, this can be like a fortune, like luck or money. Um, you know, the clover could be could be significant for some of you. It could be um, maybe some of you are Irish, but like good news about travel. 
like you're looking for like a clear path to travel or, or money that'll come in so that you can travel to this person because you might be at a distance from them or to see them or to connect with them. Uh, maybe receiving the news that you're looking for. Ace of coins. And you know, this is a new beginning. Stable, commitment. Some of you are coming into money. It could be, could be family money. Or like you're hearing about some kind of some of you heard about some kind of job opportunity, like a promotion or a raise or something like that, and this could be good fortune in your in your finances. Some of you also could be receiving an inheritance, finding out about money. But yeah, I think that you and this person are really on the same page. But there is like this element of like there's a lot of there's a lot of influencing energies here. I mean, I've got the king of cups, the queen of swords, the queen of wands, the king of swords. So there could be like this overbearing, like masculine energy, kind of like interfering in the situation. Or they, maybe that's how they see it or you see it. And again, queen of swords. Okay, their thoughts, the will of fortune, waiting it out, trying to be patient. Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. It is destiny at play like you're supposed to come together. You have to just wait. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Something that's not, they're not discussing it publicly. It's something that is hidden. It's kind of this stealthy, sneaky energy. Um, tell me more about that, please. Tell me more about the Fox, please. What do they think about you in this situation? Ooh, this person has hidden intentions, hidden feelings. Uh, could be a news, the messenger could talk about travel. Um, now, I mean, this could be one of two things. Either this person has like secret intentions to have commitment with you. They think about that. They think about you in that way. They haven't told you that. Or this person is like secretly married or secretly got married and didn't tell you. Because um, this is like, this is like some kind of sneaky, deceptive energy. It's like sneaking around and it happened to do with like the ring, which is like a promise, an oath, or a commitment. Okay. Interesting. Uh, the, you guys might end up getting a bonus. This feels so specific. With the Queen of Swords and they, how they feel, they feel like you're very honest, very straightforward. What you see is what you get. They like that about you. You know, it's that you don't leave them guessing. They, they, you're authentic. You're yourself. You don't pretend to be something that you're not. You're very intelligent. You know, you're sophisticated. You know what you want. Tell me about what they feel about you. What do they feel about you in this situation? What do they feel about you in this situation? The journal. There's like this sentimental type energy here um, with this. You know, it does feel like there are hidden feelings. Like they don't really reveal it. They just kind of internalize it. Um, this can be like information. It could be that someone saw something. They're not like actually journaling, journaling about their feelings. They might like have written your name somewhere or something like written something about you or have something in writing tell me more about the, this journal please plans to travel who is the queen of swords are you the queen of swords who is the queen of swords um, could be a spouse you know it could be could be someone that they are somehow involved with they have some kind of oath or like traditional relationship with the queen of swords is that what this is about Ooh. you know again it, Sometimes, okay, so again, King of Swords is like this intellectual type, you know, someone who plans and strategizes, someone very strong, right? Um, but it's like the Seven of Swords is like deception or like secret to things that are hidden. The Page of Swords can be somebody who's curious, somebody who's trying to find that information, somebody who's spying or watching or observing, learning. And the Tower can be like an unexpected event. It also represents like a very phallic energy, okay? And we also see that with the Ace of Wands, which is under the deck, and the King of Wands. 
wands. So this can be like a very sensual or sexual energy. It could be that there are secrets about an affair or um, uh, desires that are manifesting or something. Could be, I mean, that, could be, that could be really specific. Uh, intention, six of wands. This person wants to be victorious. This person will not give up. What is it that this person wants? What are their intentions? Affection. Um, this person might like want to see you in like a social setting with the garden under the deck. I mean, there's a, the like, adoration, affection towards you. But they want to be victorious in this. They want to be well received. Um, here in their actions, see the Five of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So it's like you may be... This person feels like there's a missed opportunity potentially here with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands is the most attractive queen of the deck. So it's like this person sits and like thinks about this. What is this? What is this actions? What can you, actions can you expect from this person? They're involved with some. What, tell me about this. Actions. Like a wish that they have or something. They're loyal to like their home or their stability, but they still have like this dream or this vision of something. Again, I mean, it could be that there are multiple people and multiple choices, and this person feels conflicted or confused. Tell us more. We're going to pull three more decks. So bear with me here. Let's see. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. What else? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, I mean, this could be that maybe this person has never told you really how they feel. Because we can see that with the journal. Like, this person has not really publicly or um, expressed their feelings. Um, but it also can be that they may be in a relationship where there's actually... No, they don't really have those feelings for the other person. They never really love that person or something. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And we saw that with the ring. It's like they think about it. Now, engagement does not mean that all of you are about to receive a ring, okay? But engagement talks about taking the next step in your relationship. Depends on where you are. Maybe you've only talked on Tinder, right? And now you need to meet up in person. Or you've met this person, you've gone on a few dates, but now you're making it official, you know? Maybe they're, you know, you're going on a double date. You're meeting their friends, right? You're beginning to kind of meet their inner circle. Um, maybe you're moving in together. They're giving you a drawer or something in their in their house or something. Or they're making closet space for you when you come over. You can keep your stuff there or something. Um, whatever that pertains to be. It's taking the next step in your relationship depending on where you are. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this is a time for the two of you to have a really in-depth and honest discussion about how you truly feel and what you both mutually want out of this situation. This person has like a lot of regrets. Okay. Okay, this one flew out of here. Okay. Okay. All right. So this card here says, manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So, you know, what it is that you want can be manifested. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. And yet that's what I'm talking about. This person hasn't really revealed their feelings. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved being surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So things can be fixed, mended, repaired. Okay, let's see. Okay. New love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. So it could be that this is like opening a new door for the two of you or that there's like a... A recommitment like maybe you're like rekindling something or this is someone very new maybe you haven't had a relationship with this person before release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go obsession someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts and lesson this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson look under there it's a soulmate your soulmate loves accepts and respects you okay um so something has to be released. This person is obsessively thinking about the situation. Definitely feels kind of complicated here, but I might, I'm, I think I'm gonna do a bonus. This just feels really specific. So whether you guys like this <laughs> or re resonated with it or not, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but I'll be putting up a bonus. So I definitely recommend you check that out, whether this resonated or it did not. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.